boom we are live ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to the life as a chad youtube channel if you're new here i hope you enjoy this first video that you are about to take in uh and if you are a recurring individual thank you so much for hanging out with me uh times are crazy times are absolutely crazy and the video that I'm going, not the video, but the topics that I'm going to be getting into today aren't new necessarily. One is more new than the other one. Um, but even in this world of instant news, it's not even that new. Uh, and that is the Will Smith story. So I am going to be discussing Ukraine and Russia a little bit, but mostly uh the Will Smith slap uh, in this week in America, American news. Guys, I was absolutely shocked. And like I said, I know I'm kind of late to the party here, but I was absolutely shocked when I saw that video. And I had to watch it a few times to see uh, how real it was. I mean, to be totally honest, totally honest, even from the very get-go, I thought it was real. I mean, if you have ever uh, played sports, if you have been in a fight, things like that, I mean, I think it's fairly easy to tell when something is real versus something that is not. And it was 100% real because if it wasn't, we would have heard from Chris Rock, we would have heard from Will Smith that it was indeed a gag of some sort. And furthermore, for the people saying that it's fake, what was the joke? What was the joke? I mean, what's the joke? What's the funny thing there? And the, the most interesting thing about this, th there's many different angles, and I'm going to hit two primary angles here. Number one, the state of men when it comes to relationships in the modern era. And the second angle is going to be the reactions from the, let's call them Black Lives, Black Lives Matter folks, the apologists, shall we call them. From the angle of the relationship uh, situation, I have been aware of this Will Smith thing for a while now. Um, he, if you're not aware, was, for lack of a better term, cucked by a younger man uh, with his wife. Um, and the crazy part about it is, for, for, from my perspective, okay, it's like, Will Smith is Will Smith. I mean, he could walk the street and probably pull three or four chicks. Why is he stressing over this one chick who's like 40 years old, his wife or 50 years old, who's not even loyal enough to stick it out with him? And I think that that, that story in and of itself shows the modern state of man and the modern state of women. In that, you look at Will Smith's wife, and she's 40 years old. She is well past her prime, yet she feels confident enough uh, in her hypergamous nature to still go after a guy that she perceives as being a step better than Will Smith, as he's younger, perhaps more fit, uh, maybe a little bit more of a bad boy, as he was a rapper, things like that. But it just, in my opinion, all of those things are true. The hypergamy, you know, uh, when it comes to his wife, all of those things, all of those things are true. But the main thing, and, you know, credit to Rolo Tomasi, you know, I've said many times that I don't, the, the problem I have with Rolo Tomasi is there's no receipts from him to show that what he is saying is accurate. Uh, there's no receipts from him personally to show that he has game and that his way of thinking helps him and therefore other men uh, get more action. But I will say from a guy myself, 
with an MS in psychology and, you know, my experience with women, there's a lot that he says that is accurate. So credit to Rolo Tomasi. I first was made aware of this by watching his video on Will Smith. And, you know, again, this just shows the main thing to me that it shows is the confidence of the modern day woman, even at 40 years old, even when she is losing her hair, she believes that she can, and she did pull a younger man worth millions of dollars. I mean, let's take, let's think about that for a moment. Okay. If the roles were reversed and you were a man with male pattern baldness, do you think you'd have the courage to go after a chick that you perceive as worth millions on the sexual marketplace? Hell no, you wouldn't. Hell, fuck no, you wouldn't. The other thing is it shows the modern state. By the way, this is, I love this channel. This is John Talks. Um, I'm not playing the sound on it, but I think it's a pretty good background video. Hopefully he doesn't uh, hit me with the copyright strike, but this is great stuff. Love his memes channel. But the other thing that it shows me is that the, you know, the modern state of man feels that they are lucky to have any woman in their life. Will Smith is a fucking movie star. He is a fucking movie star. And he is tripping and going crazy over a pretty average looking 40 year old woman. And she is basically running his life because his mindset is all fucked up. His mindset is totally wrong. He thinks that he is lucky to have her way more so than he thinks that she is lucky to have him as her prize. And that's, you know, a, a huge crux to, to their relationship. Now, I don't really give a shit about their relationship, okay? I don't give a shit about Hollywood. They hate uh, us, and quite frankly, the feeling is mutual. But it is very, very interesting nonetheless. And I think that that whole dynamic of his open relationship with his wife uh, just shows the modern state of men and them not feeling that they or thinking or having the mindset that they are the prize to be won. The, the, the correct mindset for Will Smith to have would be, okay, you want to... Uh, Step out of me, fine. Get stepping. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to be pulling hoes every night of the fucking week. And we'll see how this goes. Now, I understand the other aspect is, you know, you could say, well, okay, I'm leaving your ass. See ya. Fine. Go ahead. Be Go back to the streets. Be a streetwalker. But, you know, th the divorce courts can be absolutely brutal when it comes to to some of these wealthy men. So I understand why he didn't do that. Anyways, going back to the slap, uh, Chris Rock made a joke about Will Smith's wife, uh, which wasn't even like a super hardcore joke about her losing her hair. I think it was pretty vanilla. And uh, Will Smith freaked the fuck out and went on stage and smacked Chris Rock, also stating when he sat back down, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Any, any alpha man, any strong man, because I'm going to tell you exactly what happened, because there's so many people getting this wrong. What happened is Chris Rock made that joke and his wife was not, Will Smith's wife was not happy about it. And I guarantee she, you know, made some comment like, you're going to let him talk to me that way, some shit like that. And Will Smith in his beta mindset was like, okay, okay, I'm going to go slap the shit out of him. A real man would say, honey, it's not a big deal. Sit the fuck down. Relax. Cool down. It's not that big of a deal. Sit down but not Will Smith. 
The other aspect besides the intersexual dynamics would be the reactions. And the reactions, you know, I think there's been some good ones, such as Jim Carrey's reaction, um, you know, stating that he would have sued uh, Will Smith for $200 million. uh, And quite frankly, Will Smith should be in jail uh, or he should have been arrested. And he's right. He should have been. Do I think Chris Rock, me personally, do I think Chris Rock had the wrong made the wrong decision? No, because, you know, pressing charges, I, he would have had the media after him saying, you know, how terrible it is as him as a black man that he's trying to lock up another black man, all that shit. And it just wouldn't have been worth it. Would it have been worth it to sue his ass for a couple million bucks? Maybe, but Jim Carrey had a good response By and large, you know, I saw Shannon Sharp. I saw a few other people react to this and they were pretty good reactions. On the flip side, you had CBS reacting and it was just laughable. And, you know, I've talked to a few people about this and I've I've wondered this my whole life. If these people actually believe what they're saying. And it's so sad to me because someone with my mindset, would I respect black people so much and the black people that I have known in my life so much that I would never hold them to a lower standard than I would hold to any other man. I would hold them as severe to a standard as anybody else. AKA, well, whereas CBS, who basically went on television And stated that the reason Will Smith smacked the shit out of another black man is due to Will Smith carrying the weight of 400 years uh, of slavery or, or, you know, whatever the fuck they said. Basically, he's carrying the weight and the sadness of slavery back in the day, which is just so fucking uh, preposterous. It is ludic. It's lunacy. It's ludicrous. It's silly, absolutely silly. And, you know, when they say shit like that, I want, I always ask myself, do they actually think that, do they actually believe this? And it's, it's even, you take it a step further and it's, and by the way, guys, I'm fully aware that this is par for the course. I don't expect these people to change. And quite frankly, I'm not interested in making them change. I'm not because they're not, They're, they're gone. They're done. Okay. But it is sad that they have such low expectations for black people that their very response in trying to avoid being racist ends up being the most racially charged thing that they could say. It's called the bigotry of low expectations. And it's sad. It it really, really is sad to not hold a a very successful black man in America accountable the same way you would hold, you know, uh, fucking Bradley Cooper if he went up and smacked the shit out of uh, Chris Rock. Now, that's not what happened. Bradley Cooper did not do that. But if we are truly looking for equality, what these, pe- these people who are looking for equality, if they truly are looking for that, then it makes no sense why they would not apply the same standards, the, st- the same expectations all the way around. But in and of itself, their whole mindset is illogical. And that is why I don't spend very much time Uh, thinking about it anymore because it is, uh, you know, it, 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 they are just too far gone. So this was not good. Some black on black crime here. Um, Will Smith could not have looked more terrible. Uh, This was ugly. Quite frankly, me personally, I don't give a shit. I have never watched the Oscars. The last angle that I want to state on this is that, folks, this is Hollywood. This is Hollywood. In years past, 
People knew how shitty Hollywood was, how degraded Hollywood was. Now, in, in the modern era, you have some people who damn near come their pants when they see a, a actor, Hollywood actor, okay? Hollywood is a cesspool. It's disgusting. It's filled with people of low character, which is why they overcompensate and try and tell you how to live your life because they know that they're shitty at living theirs. They know that they are shitty people, which is why they tell you how you should conduct your life. Fuck that. So like I said, I don't really care about uh, the Oscars, but it was interesting nonetheless. Uh, switching gears here to the Hollywood, or not Hollywood, the Russia-Ukraine uh, USA conflict. I don't see this en- ending anytime soon. Um, th- you know, this just, this whole thing just continues to show how far America has fallen, how incompetent America currently is with regards to the leaders that are in place. It's a shit show. It's an absolute shit show. And for me personally, I get even more upset at the people who are the puppets of the mainstream media. You know, you go from Russian intervention in the election to, you know, the Kavanaugh thing to, you know, COVID to, you know, locking up the January 6th people to Ukraine. They literally support the next new thing, regardless of what it is. Uh, Paul Joseph Watson has a great video on this, basically stating what I just said, which is these people support and follow the new thing like a bunch of of dorks. Uh, They have zero critical thinking. Uh, They are not of their own mind and they look to external sources to think for them. Uh, So anyways, this is not going to end anytime soon. uh, And uh, it'll be pretty interesting to see how it all plays out. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. What an interesting week. I thank you guys all for being here. The channel has grown much faster than I thought it would. I I know I don't have a ton of subs yet, but I've only been doing this for a couple months. I'm I'm very excited about the growth. So I really do hope that you consider smashing that subscribe button because, well, subscribing makes you feel good. At the very least, like, comment, share, and I will see you guys next time. DBAP, don't be a pussy willow. In facts or feelings, because your feelings just don't fucking matter. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.